<laughs> Been a minute. You haven't seen nor heard of me for a while in the YouTube world. Well, I had a dear friend say, hey, you use a thumb button. Why don't you try these Chinese <laughs> thumb button releases that I got for really cheap and see if they blow up and kill you. So what I use is a Carter Plain One. American made. I've been using it for like six or seven years now. Killed a lot of deer with it. It's great. Never had any trouble out of it. Once those got popular, the Chinese seen that they were getting popular. So they started mass producing these cheaper ones. These. They have hilarious names. They're called like the wolf and they're like green and just, you can get them on Amazon for like, did, didn't you, have you seen them on Amazon? Yeah, I, I have one. Yeah, they're like 30 bucks on Amazon, 40 bucks. They're not much. So this one is the first offender. I mean, looking at it, it looks, it looks beautiful. I mean, compared to my old Carter, it looks awesome. Matte black finish, brass thumb barrel. <laughs> it's pretty, a lot prettier than my Carter. But I just know when I use this one, I'm not gonna bust my brains out with it. This one, I'm kind of, I'm kind of nervous. Actually, it don't feel too bad either. But I wanted to make a video of like a $200 American made one versus a, oh, you hear that? Listen. Put some WD on it. A little bit of WD, it'll be fine. We'll just shoot one arrow out of my Carter, just get like right up on it, and so you can see the snap pull through and all that. And we're out here at about 40 yards. With the Carter, this is like really stiff. But put it on the D loop. When I push it, it snaps into place. I have no fear of this thing going off as long as my thumb is behind the barrel. So. I use three fingers with it. I just don't like four. It kind of makes my forearm pull up too high. But here we go. The Carter. Ooh. Just about sent one into another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> we were goofing around a second ago at 100, or I had it set to 100. Phew. It feels better. Wait, I have just the thing. <laughs> My kid got one of them geode kits a couple days ago when we was out here busting it open. Now we're gonna use the SPG. The one with the, the sweet brass thing. So I think with this one, you gotta open up the little grabber. Ooh, that's kind of weird. I guess you just like clamp it down manually. So I don't like that at all. And <laughs> now we're gonna see if it will withstand 70, about like a 75 pound Matthews. Right, you might wanna stand like over here so that I don't <laughs> punch you in the side of the head. Here goes go, nothing. Oh, I'm so scared right now. Ooh, the anchor don't feel as good as my Carter. Here we go, I'm gonna start pulling. I can't anchor good with it. Pulling, pulling. Ooh, it's creeping. Oh, no, no, no. That is trash. So, let's see if I can get it to do that on here real quick. If I can even make it. <laughs> Clamp it, twist it, reverse it, bop it. All right, so I'm gonna see if you can see the, cre the amount of creep that this sucker has. And you can hear it too, listen. So it creeps like super gritty. It was going, <laughs> I could feel it. And I had to put like, 
probably double the normal amount of weight that I use with my carter. So again with the carter versus the SP Chinese. Like nothing. I just wrap my thumb on it and start pulling and it goes off. Go get my arrows. I'll take you down there the next time with the shots to see how they do. But they were both like, you know, three inch group or something at 40 yards. Now we're going with the same brand, SPG, SP240 Archery. Economic, ergonomic design. Perfectly fits the fingers to grip. Comfortable to use and operate. We'll just see about that. And this one comes with a couple Allens like the rest of them. And this is my favorite thing about this one. Shero. <laughs> what a dumb name. I feel like I don't know why the Chinese people don't just hire like one American to help like come up with cool brand names instead of Shero. And we have like a really crusty brown dry rotted rubber thing. I guess we can put our wrist in here just to give them the benefit of the doubt. I already hate it. It just feels like sloppy. Look at that. It's like waggling to the side. Let's go Carter. My car's got a little waggle, but it just feels like sturdier. But this one, man, it's like. <laughs> <Little rocker. laughs> She's blowed out, baby. She's been around the block a time or two and it's brand new. Yeah, this, this stupid wrist strap is a terrible idea. Gosh, look how fucking deep that thumb barrel is. All right. My father who art in heaven. Here we go. <sighs> She's holding the weight. Anchor feels better on this one already. And we're gonna start the squeeze. This one's way better than the black one. Out of the box. I mean, you can probably tinker with both of them, but it's better. I don't like how deep that thumb barrel is because like my anchor felt good until I had to reach my thumb down. When I reached my thumb down, it like pulled the string like way down off my face. But it looks like you can adjust that too and go down. So the Shero, I'll shoot two with the Shero just because it's blessed me. I have no idea where I hit. My anchor felt like crap, so here we go. All right, she'll shoot a Matthews at 75 pounds twice. See right there, the anchor's good, but when I get my thumb on it and start pulling, it feels like garbage. Like it's pulling my string down off of me. But the actual brake on this one is like way cleaner. It's not terrible. Let's go see where I hit. Something Wong. <laughs> Chinese dumb release. So we've been out here shooting for a while. I mean, I've been like this at 40, you know, just right, right around that three inch ring. And with the Shero, I'm hitting like way right and just kind of sporadic, but that's just like, that's just an anchor thing. I know I could grab my Carter and put two in the ring again if I wanted. <laughs> All right, so we've shot the Shero, which was decent, still rickety. We've shot the SPG. Then the last one we have is Sport Archery. Gian ZD Made in China Anyone can claim it we prove it <laughs> Is that an elk or like a red stag or something weird nobody here even hunts. This one comes completely loose so you have to I guess adjust it yourself. Oh I felt like it was gonna strip The screws feel very gummy I mean, I think this one's like obviously made in probably the same factory in China. The only difference is this is brass and then this one's got an aluminum thumb barrel and a little shaft on it. But nevertheless, we'll try it. The Xi'an ZD. And then Logan 
brought this wolf, which is another popular one that I've seen on Amazon. Here go nothing. Oh. Anchor feels good. Woo! That one's, <laughs> that one's a lot more hair trigger than that other one. I actually wasn't bad. I wasn't even ready for that to go off. I was expecting to have to put like 30 pounds of pressure on it. So, I mean, obviously they don't come tuned and ready to go. <laughs> I'm drawing it with my head over there. So it actually grouped, it just grouped far right, like the other one did, the other cheapo. Here goes the wolf. The wolf has actually been around the block a time or two, though. It's drew some arrows back, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wolfie, don't let me down. <laughs> the anchor on this one, to me, like the way it's set up, feels better than the other ones. But you can see like the trigger creeping quite a bit before it actually breaks. All right, last one with the wolf. See it going like, and then it finally breaks. The problem I see with it is imagine trying to like attach it to your bow when there's like if you miss or something. And oh you yeah, dude. another one. Yeah, if you're up in the tree you're gonna be like go <laughs> like because like with mine, you just stick it over the D loop and click it. Well this one you have to like lock it, stick it over the D loop, and then like do that to get it to go on there. I'd rather spend the money and get Americano some high quality equipment because like I said this thing has been in the rain so many times and it's not a Carter plug because there's other good thumb button releases but like the pull and you can probably adjust it but I just feel like it wouldn't I feel like it wouldn't is that creep I feel like it wouldn't uh, hold it it wouldn't hold the adjustment like this one I haven't fooled with the adjustment on that one in so long look at that it doesn't do anything until the shot breaks. It has like zero travel at all. I love it. I hate it. <laughs> this one good. This one. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs>